If you clicked on this video, you most likely are looking to start a YouTube channel in 2023. So in this week's video, I'm going to share with you all the steps I would take if I started my YouTube channel today from scratch, no subscribers. It's going to be a lot. So let's get into it. First thing I would do is obviously pick a niche. What kind of content am I going to be posting on this channel? Am I going to educate, inspire, entertain? What are my content pillars going to look like? Since I pivoted my content to teaching others how to create content, I have noticed my channel skyrocketing. And before that, I would just be posting beauty videos and everyday vlogs, which they were so fun to make, not gonna lie. And they were so entertaining to me but not to others because I learned that people don't really know who I am. Now you could definitely do vlogging today. I don't want to say it's impossible to blow up just doing vlogging, but what I would do is I would do some kind of storyline or provide some type of value in your video because the reality is, and I see a ton of people do this, even people I personally know, they just start a video assuming that people know who they are, like their personality, like their humor. It just does not work out. So unless you want to just attract people that you already know to watch your channel, that's fine, but it's not going to grow your channel. So what I highly recommend doing is making content that is going to educate people that maybe you're super passionate in. It could literally be about anything. There's YouTube channels on there that teach you how to grill and like review different barbecue sauces. Like, you can literally talk about anything on YouTube these days. So overall, find a topic that you're super passionate about and figure out how you can provide value in that topic. And then just continuously make videos around that topic that you already know and you're already passionate about. Okay, so you picked your niche and you have an idea of what type of content to make. The next thing I would do is study that niche. So for example, again, content creation. I'm going to look up content creation on YouTube. Just content creation, UGC, how to start a YouTube channel, how to make barbecue sauce, whatever your topic is, just search that. And you're gonna study the search results. So what videos do you see are performing well? You'll definitely notice a pattern of like what the most common videos are to make for that niche. So again, for content creation, if I search up UGC, I'm gonna see a lot of videos about how to get started as a creator, how to price yourself and how to find clients or agencies. Those are like the top three videos you probably want to make if you want to step into this niche. So definitely put that in a video ideas list and even read the comments in these videos. What are people asking in those comments? Since people are so eager to know the answer, they're probably searching it on YouTube. And if you use the keywords right and you actually make a video answering that question, you're gonna get views. And while you're watching those videos, pay attention to the description and the title and the tags that they use. What are the main keywords that they're using in those titles? Maybe even do a deeper research on those specific keywords and see what kind of videos are being made on that. I know that's a little nerdy and a little nitty gritty, but keywords and like searchability is gonna be huge, especially when you start your YouTube channel from scratch. And lastly, how can you add your own twist to these videos? How can I sprinkle in my own personality and my own twist into these videos? You have the niche, you have some video ideas, now it's time to film, but what kind of equipment should I use? Well, I'm gonna say the same thing that every other person says in these kind of videos, and it actually rings true. Use your phone, use natural lighting. I recommend that because that's how I started my YouTube channel nine years ago. I literally had an iPhone, I had an iPad to edit my videos on, and I remember stacking shoe boxes and books up as a tripod, and then having these random lamps as lighting. And it worked at the time. It, was, it wasn't it was like anything too crazy. And that's still what I would recommend in 2023. I feel like a lot of people stress so much about the equipment that it kind of holds them back into starting a YouTube channel. You have to remember that having a super nice fancy camera does not equal a ton of subscribers. Trust me, I know people who've dropped thousands of dollars on equipment. Their channel is one, not successful, and two, they upload like two videos and that's it. Like what a waste of money to drop thousands and thousands of dollars on a super nice camera that you barely use. Your content is going to evolve over the years. So instead of stressing over the fact that you don't have the quote unquote right equipment now, once your channel grows and once you evolve, you're going to invest in nicer pieces. So to keep that in mind. And that even goes with editing as well. Like you don't have to have a $300 software to edit your videos on especially if you don't edit videos now. Use CapCut, iMovie if you have a Mac, like any free editing software, 
play around with the editing and we'll get into like editing tips later on in the video, but don't stress about the equipment. Don't spend thousands of dollars on starting a YouTube channel. And you should see that as a convenience. Like anyone can have a YouTube channel. Anyone can post a video. There are a ton of successful YouTube channels that just upload with their phone quality. So that's why I have to say, about filming equipment. We have the phone, we have the natural lighting. What are my best filming practices? One of my biggest pieces of advice when filming is to have an outline of your video. I don't care if it's a day in my life vlog and I don't care if it's a sit down educational video like this. Have some sort of outline or script that you can follow in your YouTube video. I promise you the structure of your YouTube videos are going to be so much better. Even when you're doing vlogs, when you have some sort of storyline, you can go as crazy as having a shot list of what kind of clips you're going to gather or even certain things you wanna say in your video. Write that down, I promise you it's going to make your overall productivity on your YouTube channel so much better. I hope we can leave the long intros and outros in 2022. Let's be honest, as a viewer, we see the thumbnail, we see the title, we click on the video because we want the information or we want that certain entertainment now. We are in an age of TikTok. When we scroll, our attention is captured for three seconds. We decide right then and there if we wanna to scroll to the next video or if we wanna keep watching. That should be the same energy that we have in these YouTube videos. I don't need a minute long intro of what you're gonna be doing in your day. People wanna see what you're doing or learn a certain piece of information. They don't want all talk, they want the show. And one last piece of advice is, of course when you start a YouTube channel, you wanna be as consistent as possible. I like to have one to three videos at least scripted and ready to film or even better, already filmed. Because if there's a week that I'm either sick or I'm too busy with something, I have a video to rely on to post for that week. So when I'm not necessarily super consistent on my YouTube channel, I do have one video so I can just realistically take a week off from YouTube. All right, we filmed our first video or our first three videos. That's amazing. Now let's go on to editing. So like I said earlier, find a software you're comfortable using. Again, doesn't have to be super expensive. When I started my YouTube channel, I started with iMovie because I had an iPad. I simply just played around with the software and just built an editing routine that I was super comfortable using from the cuts to the text, to the transitions. And don't be afraid to have fun with the editing. You're just starting. You gotta figure out your groove. You gotta figure out the font that works for you, the transitions. Everyone has a certain editing style to them, whether it's super simple or it's super complex. Just kind of play around with it, see what you like, see what you enjoy and just stick with that. And once you're done, editing this video a major tip that's helped me in my YouTube journey I'm going to start the video and just watch it all the way through and I'm going to focus on watching that video and if I find myself getting distracted I stop right there and I figure out what do I need to add in that video or what do I need to delete maybe there's a clip that I'm talking a little too long maybe I need to cut it off if you can't watch the video all the way through who will Shout out to Alicia Marie for that tip. Video is filmed, video is edited, and ready to upload. What are you gonna do when you upload? You're going to create a clean and readable thumbnail. Now, you know, to be honest, graphic design is not really my strong suit, so a lot of my thumbnails are super simple. But just like editing, have fun, play around with them, and overall just think to yourself, would I click on this video if I saw this thumbnail? I mean, to be honest, that's one of the first things that you probably see when you're on YouTube. If it relates to the title, you probably are inclined to click on it, so definitely make sure your thumbnails are visible, the text is large enough to read, maybe make the thumbnail not super busy. I always go for the simple route. That's usually what converts really well. When you go to upload your video, obviously you can customize your title and your description. Please, please, please use keywords. Remember earlier in the video when I said, search up your niche, what are the most common used keywords? Pull up those notes and use those keywords. Your title shall obviously explain what the video actually is. And if you need help on keywords and all of that, let me know down in the comments below. I can definitely do a whole video about search engine optimization. I feel like I'm such a nerd when it comes to that. That's like my favorite thing to do besides editing on YouTube is keyword research. So once you have all those upload details down, you are ready to publish your YouTube video. Your very first YouTube video and now you're like, okay, when's the next time I upload? I highly recommend 
uploading once a week. Make that a priority if you're looking to take YouTube like actually seriously. In 2021, I made a New Year's resolution to myself that I was gonna be uploading every single Friday. But that trained my mind to make uploading on YouTube a priority. So if you are gonna take YouTube seriously, make it a commitment to post once a week. It doesn't matter what day, you don't have to have a set schedule of a certain day and time that you upload. Just commit to yourself once a week. And that's why I said batch film maybe two or three videos at a time because there's obviously going to be a week that you're not going to be able to post whether you're sick or you just overall just don't feel like filming that day having a backlog of videos that you can just quickly edit and get up is seriously going to change the game for you and is going to help you be consistent so i hope you guys enjoyed this long in-depth video if you have any questions definitely feel free to dm me on instagram i get questions all the time about ugc and i love like just chatting about content creation overall with you guys also i am pre-launching a service where i help you guys grow your channel get into content creation just a one-on-one -on -one coaching call so if you're interested in that or if you just want specific questions answered i will leave my calendar down below so you guys can book a quick chat with me i would love to help you guys out and potentially help you grow your YouTube channels or your content creation services in 2023. So with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.